Chapter 27, Sect Admission Test, Root Bone Examination A mountain peak towering thousands of feet high was filled with green pines and cypress trees, flying waterfalls and flowing springs. And one palace after another stood erect on the mountainside. Between the mountain peaks, on top of the extremely high mountain peak, there was an even more rippling heavenly pool. Han Yi followed the guide in the green robe, ascending the mountain along the stone path and observing the dragon sparrow sects every plant and tree. He could see the immortal cranes, white deer, spiritual tigers, tri-colored peacocks, and other exotic beasts that were raised, dwelling in the neighboring mountains. At the same time, on the other side, there were terraced fields emitting abundant spiritual key in large patches. Upon looking at it, countless spiritual medicine fields laid out in the mountains, producing countless spiritual medicines. A plaque with the words Nurturing Heart Peak was erected in the center of the mountain wall, with its vigorous and vivid writing embodying unspeakable Taoist implications. This is the Nurturing Heart Peak, originally a place for sect disciples to cultivate tranquility. Because of the large number of people participating in the examination this year, it has temporarily become a resettlement place. The transmission sound of the green robe Taoist sounded, reaching the ears of everyone in the Liu family. Even without his explanation, Han Yi could see it clearly. At the entrance of the hall they had arrived at, it was already crowded with people, and the noise of conversation was incessant, creating an overall chaotic atmosphere. Here, you will encounter the first hurdle of the sect entrance examination. The green-robed Taoist spoke clearly to the members of Liu Manor. The root bone is the first hurdle on the road to becoming immortal. If your root bone is not good enough, regardless of how much resources are poured into you, it will all be meaningless. This stage is to test how good your root bone is. Everyone, form a line, step forward one by one. Those who lack confidence may leave on their own. After this was said, everyone listened earnestly, and slowly nodded, no one had any intention of leaving. I brought you here, farewell. After saying that, the green-robed Taoist turned around. He waved his finger, and a token appeared in his palm which he handed to Liu Linky. This is something the senior brother asked me to give you, take it. Understood, Liu Linky nodded. Han Yi, with sharp eyes, brightened when he saw this object. Brother Han, is this some kind of magic trick? Wang Daniu also found it quite magical, and whispered. That's a storage ring. It has space inside and can hold a lot of things. Han Yi explained softly. That's amazing. Wang Daniu marveled. It's good to have connections. Han Yi inexplicably sighed. It's cool to have a cultivator brother. He wishes he could have a cultivating big shot covering him too. Liu Linky stood at the front of the line and said to everyone, every Anajet in line and take turns testing the spiritual roots. Han Yi obediently selected a position and stood properly, sweeping his gaze around due to boredom. The line was too long, he did not know when his turn would come. He could see a giant stone of antique style laying in the center of the hall, it was extremely conspicuous. Everyone had to stop in front of it. Judging from this situation, Han Yi had ruled out the outdated method of taking pulses to determine root bone. The cultivation world also needs progress. This root bone stone looked faster than human effort. The line moved very quickly, indicating a smooth process. Those who were able to participate in the Dragon Sparrow sect examination had more or less understood their own root bone, and those who were purely depending on luck were few. Unconsciously, it was finally the turn of the Liu family members. Han Yi finally got a clear view of how the root bone checking was conducted. In simple terms, it's dripping a drop of blood on stone, and then the root bone stone will emit different colors and intensities of light, thus determining the state of the spiritual root. An elder wearing a verdant Taoist robe, with a jade token bearing the words internal affairs hanging from his waist, was supervising the entrance and exit of the Great Hall. Han Yi guessed this should be the Elder of Internal Affairs of the Dragon Sparrow sect. He had been careful to notice when he first joined the sect. Ordinary disciples on the mountain peak wore blue clothes, while those disciples who just led the way were green clothes. This color was a symbol to distinguish rank. The blue Taoist robe was likely worn by the outer sect disciples. The green robe, on the other hand, was likely worn by the inner sect disciples. 
Triple Spirit Roots of Gold, Wood, and Water, Average, and the Foundation is Acceptable, You Can Go Ahead, the Elder of Internal Affairs said as he saw the weak green, blue, and silver lights on the root bone stone, saying indifferently with his old eyes. Quadruple Spirit Roots of Gold, Wood, Water, and Fire, Too Mixed, Not Needed, You Can Go Back. The man with a shiny head, fierce and terrifying, looked uncomfortable, wanted to say something but felt the unfathomable invisible cultivation of the elder and dismissed the idea. He could only snort and leave. The elder of internal affairs couldn't be bothered to pay any attention to him. He waved his sleeve and warned the people behind, in the Dragon Sparrow sect, we don't care who you are. Even if you are the son of a prince, descendant of an imperial family, or child of a large clan, you must act honestly. Even if a true dragon came, it would be treated the same. On the road of cultivation, there are only a few with talent. Although our Dragon Sparrow sect does not demand you to have exceptional talent, we still need a basic foundation. Triple Spirit Root Constitution is the most basic, quadruple and quintuple spirit roots are to mixed, and our Dragon Sparrow sect does not need them. After the Elder's speech, the people who came next appeared much more obedient. Dual wood and water spirit roots, but the root foundation is very poor, there has been damage, it seems that you have come to take refuge. Fortunately, your spiritual roots are excellent, otherwise, you might not have made it. Go in, you are lucky to have the protection of our dragon sparrow sect. The elder of internal affairs with a deep gaze said this, seeing the history of the black-robed man standing in front of him at a glance. Han Yi witnessed this scene and silently thought. This attitude of indifference is indeed a reflection of his superior strength. The Dragon Sparrow sect has stood for a thousand years, and although it doesn't interfere much in the world's affairs, it has clarity on the current situation. It's hard to deceive them with anything. Very soon it was Liu Linka's turn, who was at the front of the line. Without a word, she drew a line on her hand with a knife and a drop of fresh blood fell on the giant stone. Immediately, it burst into a dazzling green light. The light made everyone's faces cast a green. The elder of internal affairs had a glint in his eyes and smiled interestedly, a wood attribute single spirit root, not bad at all, very solid foundation. An extremely rare root bone. Seeing the token on Liu Linkus waist, he understood something and smiled lightly, so, you're a clan member of Liu Chengfeng, interesting, proceed. Upon hearing the elder's words, the crowd in line began to stir slightly, and a wave of discussion began. She actually has a single spirit root. In the hundreds of people who had just passed, not a single one was a single spirit root. Now there is one, how could they not be surprised? A single spirit root means that the bottleneck at each realm would be looser than others. The speed of cultivation would be very fast, destined to become a powerful cultivator. If nothing went wrong, she would be able to hold important positions in the sect within decades. Even if she chooses to leave the mountain and enter the secular world, she could hold high positions in various dynasties, causing quite a stir. Everyone's gaze focused on Liu Linky, their eyes burning with anticipation. It wouldn't hurt to cultivate a good relationship with such a person early on. Those who had already passed the test watched Liu Linky, secretly deciding to build a good relationship with this person if they became sect members. Now it was Wang Danaya's turn. He bit his finger, and drops of blood fell. On the giant stone, there were two somewhat dazzling lights that were red and earthy yellow intertwined with each other. Fire and earth dual spiritual roots, solid foundation, moreover, there is something special. The elder of internal affairs seemed somewhat unsure as he directed toward Wang Da Niu, give me your hand. Wang Da Niu obediently handed over his hand. After examining it, the elder of internal affairs tugged a small smile at the corner of his mouth, incredible physical body. There's a hint of tyrant king bloodline. Impressive, proceed. The crowd was slightly surprised. The tyrant king bloodline means this man has a faint royal blood flowing within him. 800 years ago, the human race of the Central Earth gave birth to two Supremes. The Tyrant King and the Human Emperor fought for supremacy. In the end, it was the Human Emperor who took the throne and unified the Central Earth. According to rumors, the Tyrant King was the king of a foreign barbaric tribe born with divine strength and unmatched fighting power. His body was invincible. Even if a fairy descended, his defense couldn't be broken. 
If it wasn't for the human emperor obtaining the heaven's mandate and the heart of the people, the outcome would still be uncertain. No one expected to encounter a descendant of the tyrant king today. Dan Yu has a royal bloodline, who would have thought? Han Yi was quite taken aback. He always said Dan Yu was unusually strong. He never thought there would be such a reason behind it. His eyes rolled and he couldn't help but think. Could the end goal of this attribute upgrade relate to this Tyrant King thing? But he didn't have time to think about it because it was his turn next. Fire, Gold, Earth Triple Spirit Roots, and Extremely Solid Foundation, Wait. The Elder of Internal Affairs looked at the Root Bone Stone and furrowed his brow. Instinctively taking Han Ye's hand, he expressed surprise. Huh? Ill damned, two Tyrant King bloodlines have come out today. The Elder who had been calmly closing his eyes and resting was now exhibiting significant emotional fluctuation. All of a sudden, there appears a single spirit root, a dual spirit root with a Tyrant King bloodline, and another Tyrant King bloodline. Anyone in his place would be restless. Brother Han, did your ancestors belong to the same clan as mine? Wang Daniu grinned silly and asked, You're right. The Elder of Internal Affairs stroking his beard, nodded seriously. Me, a descendant of the Tyrant King? Han Yi pointed at himself, asking with arched eyebrows and a smirk in his heart. So it seems the Dragon Tiger physique made a difference. Unexpectedly, he became a descendant of the Tyrant King in such a muddle-headed way. The Elder of Internal Affairs looked at the two of them and couldn't help but think, but why do I feel that the young man's bloodline purity seems higher? Another half an hour passed. There were fewer and fewer people. Most of the people from Liu Manor had already completed their tests. About 50 people came and the pass rate reached 80%. Unfortunately, 10 people were eliminated. However, Han Yi glanced at them and noticed Gao Qiching, Li Chong, and Zhao Jin were among the group. Liu Linky spoke to the guards that had been eliminated, looking disappointed, don't worry. I will ask my brother to make an exception and accept you as miscellaneous task disciples. Although you won't receive cultivation resources, you can stay in this immortal mountain to cultivate. This is special treatment unique to those from Liu Manor. Upon hearing the Miss's words, the eliminated guard's expressions improved slightly. Better to be a tiny ant in the Tao than an ordinary person in the secular world. Many people's thoughts are like this. Look, it's that person from the Chu family. Why is she here at Dragon Sparrow Sect? Just at this moment, a commotion arose in the crowd. Han Yi followed the sound and saw. A familiar figure in a white skirt appeared in his field of vision. It was the woman in the white skirt who had displayed the sword that cracked the fog and split the river last night.